So now we're still all together in this. So now we are going to go what we call Layla to the 10th of Dhul Hijjah, the night of the 10th of Dhul Hijjah. This is Mujdalifa night. This is the night, inshallah, we're going to mention about the Rukhsa of leaving and all uh, the issues, but we will be covering, you know, praying Maghrib and Isha, staying the night, praying Fajr the next day, and, you know, making dua until the redness of sun, and then how to go in the morning of the 10th, go to the Jamarat, and this is the day of slaughter, or what we call Yawm nahr we're going to cover all those. And this is the uh, rukhsa that you talk, or the basically uh, allowance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed the women, the elders, the weak ones, uh, or those who are considered to be mahram of the categories that we mentioned. Even if they're in young age, they can proceed to mina after middle of the night. However, there is a catch in this. So if you want to do really the sunnah, you can leave Mustalifa after midnight, but the problem you're going to be facing is that when you go to Mina, if you want to follow the sunnah, really you cannot throw the Jamarad before Fajr. So you're going to be leaving the midnight and then going to Mina only to go to your tent and rest. But you're not going to be able to do, if you want to follow the sunnah, you're not going to be able to go to the Jamarat throw and then proceed to Mecca. And that's what most people do nowadays is that they take this to go early to Mecca. However, if you want to do it right, this is not the uh, reason why Prophet Muhammad allowed, the reason why he allowed his women, his wives and the elders and whatever to go rest in Mina until Fajr prayer and then they went to the Jamarat to throw the Jamarat and go to Mecca. But of course, the scholars of these days have opened it really open because of the crowdness and because of the number of people. They said, if you really have to, then you can do it. But the problem is, is, is that condition, if. So when you put yourself into this kind of awkward position, this is to some of you as one time life. It is really sometimes it's once a lifetime for you to end up going to this place. And most of us, we really want to do it right. We don't want to take shortcuts here and shortcuts there. But of course, if you try and you end up finding it extremely difficult on you, this is where I personally believe you can access the excuse or the allowance.